Recently, I had to drive to my doctor's office for a blood test. It's certainly not a comfortable experience. Then, after waiting a couple of days for the results to come back from the lab, I had to drive there again. Most of us go through this cycle maybe once a year for our annual physical, and even then we may put it off because it's inconvenient. Now imagine having to do this every week, which is what patients on a drug called clozapine initially have to do. Clozapine is an antipsychotic drug, and it is the most effective one available for treating schizophrenia. An estimated 50 million people worldwide struggle with this challenging and complex mental disorder. Its defining feature is psychosis, or being out of touch with reality. Without medication, delusions and hallucinations are common symptoms. For the famous case of the late Nobel laureate John Nash, this was memorably depicted in the Academy Award-winning movie, A Beautiful Mind. Unfortunately, only a very small fraction of patients are actually prescribed clozapine, largely because of the burden to both patients and doctors from the current monitoring cycle. Specifically, the doctor needs to keep track of two things, initially on a weekly basis. First, the patient's white blood cell counts, to prevent the rare side effect that could leave the patient at a high risk of infection. Second, how much of the drug is in the patient's blood. That way, the doctor can adjust the dosage to the optimum level and also ensure that the patient is actually taking the drug. The goal of my research is to greatly simplify the current monitoring cycle by developing a device for rapid testing with only a single drop of blood. The concept is somewhat akin to the glucometers used in diabetes management. Specifically, I have developed new types of sensors that can measure the drug level and count white blood cells without relying on bulky and expensive equipment. Working with my clinical team, I have tested actual patient blood samples for clozapine, and the results from my sensor match those from a certified clinical lab. I am integrating these sensors in a small chip. Put together with some electronics, pumps, and batteries, the device could be made available to patients at the pharmacy, eventually even at home. This allows for a simplified, much more convenient monitoring cycle to ensure treatment efficacy, adherence, and safety. As a result of my research, many more people could benefit from clozapine's effectiveness, allowing them something most of us take for granted, perceiving the world as it is. And lastly, the success of this device could inspire many more researchers to finally bring medical device technology into the much neglected field of mental health management.